Welcome to a new kind of short video on the Gantt Grow channel. Uh, today I want just want to tell you all about ChatGPT and Google. So there's like this ongoing debate that Google is going to start destroying everything related to AI content and that you shouldn't write AI content because Google is going to ban it. It's going to penalize it and everything is going to go wrong because you've been using AI content. And I come to put all those rumors to rest. They are completely untrue. And everything that you've heard is just basically irrelevant. Everything that you've heard until now, because first of all, Google can't detect the AI generated content. Some of the prompts that we create, for example, at the Squirrely company are so advanced and they produce such amazing output that you would never believe it was not written by a human being. And at the Squirrely company, we used to hire lots of people uh, as beginner copywriters, content writers, content creators, whatever you want to call them. And while they were beginners, let's say in, the, in their first year working with us, they produced much lower quality outputs than ChatGPT can do by default. So basically it's completely impossible to actually detect it. Now I know that some of you will say that, you know, I've written this and Google can detect it, but then then you're going to have uh, open AI and they're going to be around and they're going to say, hey, I want to wat watermark this. And then, you know, Google will know that it's watermarked. So it's made with open AI, it's made with ChatGPT and the content is going to get penalized. It also doesn't matter because Google has updated its policies. So basically, I think this was in December last year uh, and they've changed their policies to allow content generated by ChatGPT, for example. So the problem really is with content generated by GPT-3, which is very poor and very low quality from all the tests that we ran. Uh, we've used like, I think that all the AI writers out there, we've used them and, and they really can't compare to what you can get from ChatGPT if you really do your prompts correctly and you really make amazing prompts in ChatGPT. So, um, and anyway, so, so the difference between GPT-3 and ChatGPT is huge and that's why Google has actually updated their policies back in December. But what's really cool is that uh, right now, recently, Google has actually created a post where they officially announced this change. So they've made the change and you had to read between the lines to figure out that Google currently allows content generated by ChatGPT, for example. Uh, but they've made an article that makes it super easy right now and you will find the link in the description of this video where you can find the article. Um, and there you can see that they've completely changed everything and they declare that AI content is perfect as long as it's made for humans. So you can basically use uh, things like the AI hub that we're going to have in Squirly, in the Squirly universe, in the digital pack. You're going to be able to use that to generate amazing content. We've worked on the first version, but now we're bringing more AI assistants inside of what we're creating based on ChatGPT. So we're going to make like an incredibly easy experience. And the idea is that you will be able to rest uh, chill. You're gonna be chill because you will know that Google allows this kind of content to be created. So as it always was, the thing is you need to create human first content. So if you just create content in order to trick search engines into ranking you higher, that's not going to fly with Google. And it doesn't matter if it's written by humans or written by AIs that want to trick Google, that's not going to fly. And we've got great educational content on Education Cloud Plus. Plus, uh, Irina, our chief of marketing, she's going to prepare something special for our email subscribers. And you're going to learn all about creating human first content. But you can also go to Education Cloud Plus and learn more about it. And also in the focus pages by Squirly, included in your Squirly SEO plugin, we help you identify if your content is indeed human first. So a lot of the things that we have inside focus pages, if you get them to green, they will actually help you realize that your content is now high quality content because Google measures high quality content by a different series of metrics. So it's not about the human arrogance, like I'm going to be very arrogant. Mm, I've created the best piece of content in the universe. This is completely high quality because it's written by me. No, that's not how it works. So Google, they actually use lots of cool things like 
engagement metrics, trying to figure out how much time people spent on your page, if they visited other pages, if your page was encouraging for people to find out more. And they don't want people to go back onto the search engine. They want people to actually find use and find value in what they find on your page. And that's why we have so many things inside the focus pages by Squirrely because all of those help you identify the fact that indeed your content was very, very helpful and very high quality based on real details, not on what some arrogant writer would actually say that, uh, oh, this is the best content. So Google knows what's the best content and he doesn't care if it's made by an AI or if it's made by yourself. So this is great news to all of you who've been experimenting with AI content. And what can I tell you? See you on the next video.